Hey everyone, welcome back to Legends of Mushrooms with Genghis. Wanted to talk to you guys about a tip that a lot of people don't know. I didn't know for the first couple weeks of me playing this game. And it's, uh, it's insane how many buffs there are that are secret buffs and really easy to get that no one is getting. So uh, first, I'll just show you a few obvious ones that people do know. So some people know and some people don't. So I used to think when I was uh, assigning a pal or a skill, I was like, hey, look at my cactus. So I could go with this cactus because he's level 30 and he brings me this 480%. And if I look at my level four cactus, he's only bringing me 192%. You know what? That doesn't matter. It doesn't matter which one is equipped. They both work all the time. And I'm going to show you this. So I already uh, enhanced right now on uh, pals. So we'll go over to my skills to show you the exact same thing. And same thing with uh, skills. There's some skills that are higher level and lower level, but they do the exact same thing. And I used to look at them and I'd be like, oh, maybe I want this one. It has kind of the same talent, but it has 340% where like my, let's here's it, where's an example. So my Grim Reaper only has 128%, Ugh. but they all work all the time. So watch, I'm going to click enhance and my overall effects right here are going to go up and those are active all the time. So there we go. It just went up and you saw that green go across the screen. My overall power went up 3,090 because all of these went up. Now, it's at 5,827%. Now, when you increase your pals, your skills, you end up in this area where you can add more buffs. And by getting these up to certain levels, I'm going to get, in this case... Basic attack 16% and basic attacks 24% all the time. So I'm going to enhance those, obviously. And you can see the green come across. I just went up 5,000 power right there. Because the amount that I'm going to be attacking at basic levels is going to be going up all the time. Now, there's other areas that this uh, takes place as well. I'm going to do my best to try and show you all of them. So we'll go into the mount. And if you go into, oh, I, so Empower, nice, I have one. I didn't know I had one. So I just got that 20%. Those are working all the time. That's pretty obvious. But when we go into Advance here, and we look at like my Horizon Racer. So every 10 seconds, summon a card, deal 800%. That only takes place when I'm playing. If, if this car is my mount, that works. But... This global HP, this works all the time, always. So even if I don't have it on, it's working. So if I change mount, if I go to this one, this one is going to have ignore evasion all the time, all the time. And then the next one, global attack, right? All the time. So the fact that this works all the time so this is, I'm an archer, and this is actually a really good weapon for archers. But I'm saving up in the rush rewards for this one, not because I care as much about the skill here, because this is more for mages. I care about this passive skill that I'm going to get all the time, because I don't know if I'm going to use that cloud. I might keep using the race car, but I want that global attack more than I want that ignore uh, evasion. So think about those. But now, speaking of mounts, when we remodel, one of the big reasons you want a lot of mounts now. So you want every single mount you can possibly get your hands on. So this is going to be a big advantage for people who spend money in the game. If you are going to spend money on this game, spend responsibly. Use the Aptoid App Store. Get up to 35% off on all in-game purchases. Use the promo code MUSHROOM5. You can see me doing it in the background. And if you'd like to do so, the information how to do so is in the description to the video. Save money. Put more in your pocket.
the more mounts you have, look at these. So when parking first came out and we were getting buffs, it came out and I was like, okay, I'm going to focus on one. I'm going to get one really high because that's the one I use. I don't care about the surfboard or the tube. I don't use them. But all of these passive buffs work all the time. People don't know that. And it's something that people are missing out on. So they are going to work all the time. So I've started to do mine evenly. Um, also going to be kind of focusing more on getting more mounts also because of that. So on these wings, these, uh, you know, it'll be these ones that work all the time. So I'm lucky enough I got this one. So ignore evasion. That's going to work all the time for me. Now, this is probably one of the biggest ones, one of the biggest secrets people don't know. So if you look at your relics right here, 88, 48%. So lots of people thought like, hey, I only need to do the relic that I'm going to be using. The rest, I don't care about. That's not true. So remember this number, 88, 48. And I'm going to do some low level ones that I'm just going to try and get some of them up. So we were at 88, 48. So these are ones that I'm not even going to use. I don't plan on using all of them. Look, we're at 9120 now, 9120. So make sure to get all of those at least up to something like level 10. Try to get them to level 20. Really incre increase your uh, attack, defense, and HP base levels. It will really, really make you a stronger player. Hope you enjoyed this tip. Please use the code MUSHROOM5, help support the channel on the Aptoid. Only 2% of players are using Aptoid to save money. The rest of you are paying full price. If you have an iPhone, sorry you can't, but if it's an Android or an emulator, guys, just use Aptoid. You save so much money. So anyways, let me know in the comments if you guys are using them. If you knew these tricks, did this help you? And like, subscribe, leave a comment.